Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to film a quick video about some books from Daiso. Now Daiso is a Japanese retailer worldwide and uh, they have a quite a decent range of stationery and their prices are always pretty good. In Australia, most of these items retail for $2.80 uh, and these three notebooks were that. Now I've chosen three notebooks that have slightly different paper in them. Um, and one is from uh, Kokuyo, uh, and then the other two are sort of more Daiso branded products. Um, this is a slightly different setup. Obviously the lighting and everything is different. I'm away on tour at the moment in a, a hotel in Sydney. I just wanted to get this uh, video done for you. Uh, and I think it shows some interesting results. Now, what I've done is I've done a simple writing sample on each one. And I've done it also here on Rhodia uh, for like the control, if you will. Um, so I've got, this is just a Rhodia 80 gram dot pad. Um, and it's pretty much the standard, if you will. You know, like it's held up as a pretty decent sort of paper for fountain pens and all that sort of stuff. And so I've used a couple of fountain pens, the Pilot Metropolitan Fine with Pilot Black, a Faber-Castell Loom Medium, which is a fairly wet medium um, with Diamine Autumn Oak. Uh, I've also used an Artline Fine Liner, a Muji Gel Pen, a Big Ballpoint, a Tombow Mono 2B Pencil, uh, and then an Illustrator Marker, which is an alcohol-based marker, just to really show, like, give the, show the paper being, like, pretty much abused. Uh, none of this is like marker paper or art paper. It's regular notepad paper. Now, if we look at the Rhodia, on the back, we see that a couple of things that I've sort of done heavy scribbling with, they have come through a bit. And the alcohol marker, of course, has really come through to the point where it's come through onto the next page um, and sort of bled through there as well. So that's really copying some abuse, but everything else performs rather nicely. So now let's have a look at these other paper. So first things first, we have the Daiso B5 number 10 notebook. Now I've taken that from the label there. Um, regular wire bound notebook. This has sort of slightly rougher paper than the others. Uh, a lot of the Daiso paper is quite smooth. This is quite light uh, and is, yeah, so it's got a bit more tooth to it. Um, on the front, the fountain pens have performed really well. Everything else performs great. Um, rubbing out was okay on this because uh, a true B pencil is a, is a bit softer uh, and as this paper has a bit of sort of a tooth to it, sits on the top there and it came off okay. The illustrator marker has sort of like spread quite a lot. And on the reverse here, you see that's really come through uh, and where I put down the heavy swabs of ink, even the ballpoint has sort of come through. Um, but in the writing, it's not performed too badly. Really, the Pilot Metropolitan has played through a couple of spots, um, but this illustrated marker has gone through even onto the second page behind it. So not the highest quality paper, um, but for $2.80 for a notebook, you're getting paper that will, if you're just doing regular writing with a fine nib, probably not a bad option. This is the next one, and it's obviously very much uh, modelled off Apica uh, notebooks. They're another Japanese brand of notebook. Um, this is the Daiso Semi B5 number 13 notebook. This is the five millimeter, what they call section, which is a square or grid, as you can see. Um, now, on the front surface, we've got the Parliament Metropolitan looks great. The black looks really good on this paper. This is a smooth paper. There's very little tooth on it. We get some nice shading from the loom uh, with the Autumn Oak there. Autumn Oak, oh, which I spelled wrong. I always spell that wrong. Um, Autumn Oak uh, is a nice shading ink. So that's come up nicely. Fine liner, gel pen, ballpoint. Pencil came, rubbed off okay, not amazing. Uh, and while the illustrator marker sort of held a little bit tighter, as we can see, once again, it has really come through uh, onto that next page there. So this is, uh, as I said, this isn't illustrated, this isn't like uh, graphic paper or art paper. Um, it is just regular notepad paper. So things like the fountain pens are all performing really well. The illustrator marker just really, um, well, it gives some abuse. The last notebook I want to show today, as I said, is the um, Kokuyo notebook that Daiso sell. This is the Kokuyo Campus. Now, this is a brand that makes really well-respected stationary products. And Daiso do this. There's a couple of items that they sell that are made by brands like Platinum or Hauser. Uh, they're made to sell in the Daiso, even Maraman, to sell in the Daiso stores. Reasonably priced. This is, once again, $2.80, so it's a really good value book not a huge amount of pages sort of think it's 30 pages or something um but good quality paper is that it's b5 size 
six millimeter line. So, and this is how it performs. Now, the fountain pens look great. There's good shading, nice sort of thick color, depth of color there, same with the fine line. The gel pen looks great on this. Uh, big ballpoint, wrote beautifully. Tombow Mono drew really nicely. It's got a nice glossy finish to it. Uh, and it rubbed out fairly well. Uh, and the Illustrator marker, while losing a lot of that color, once again, spreading a little bit, uh, it's looking okay on the front there. If we look at the reverse of this, in terms of the fountain pens, the ink does come through where I put down heavy swabs, but I'm putting down a heavy amount of ink to the point where the paper starts to like get chewed up. Um, and, but from the everyday writing, we're not getting anything coming through. Marker, of course, coming through like it does on everything. Um, so for my pick, I think when your Daiso have, as I said, a large range of notebooks and stationary items at really reasonable prices, I think that they're, um, generally speaking, pretty high quality or usable quality for a really good price. Now, all of these would be great for ballpoints and for pencils and note-taking at university and things like that. And uh, I think also that uh, the Kikuyo one there uh, is probably, you know, it would probably stand up to the most, you know, regular pen uh, use. Uh, but it, these are, you know, student notebooks at a very, very decent price. When I say student notebooks, I don't just mean for a student. You, you know, use them in a professional setting, work setting, all of that sort of stuff as well, absolutely. Uh, they just, I think, as an affordable option for paper that uh, you can use every day, knowing that one of these is that, you know, you get three up to four of, like, the Rodeo dot pads for the same price. Uh, and there are much more expensive, you know, notebooks than this as well. So good affordable paper, um, reasonable for everyday use. Uh, but if you're going to look for something that's going to take a bit more abuse, look for things like your Tomo River and your heavier weight uh, Clairefontaine paper. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, Enjoy your pens and your paper. Let us all know what you use, what is your favorite affordable paper, and I'll talk to you soon.